namaste my name is ojal i study in 9b and i had a few questions like not in particular about space the topic you specialize in but why you are doing what you're doing right what made you come to our school what do you think about our school well, i think the school is great uh, when i walked in here i thought everybody really looked great it was really fun for me to come in here and see you all mm -hmm. uh, i do it because i have fun with life you know i really enjoy my life and i look around me and everybody else is struggling on kennedy space center we make a lot of money we're at the beach we're in this magical environment and everybody is complaining they come in on monday oh, i can't wait till friday what do you mean i gotta work this isn't work so i said to myself how come i think this way and they think differently what's the difference most of these people are smarter than me they're more talented than me but they're always complaining they're full of stress and pressure why is that and i thought i think it's learned behavior when they were growing up they were taught you must work hard stress pressure and they live it and so i said okay you know, i can't change these people their mind is made up but i can go to schools i can talk to students and let you know you have a choice and that's my main goal when i come here not to teach you about space but to let you know you always have a choice i think that's amazing <laughs> actually honestly like i think you're like one of the first adult figures who's actually told me that directly yes that's a very impactful thing you're doing uh, what do you think about our students uh, I, all students are really interesting to me. I've been to 17 countries around the world, and all of you are exactly the same. Not a little bit, exactly the same. If I'm sitting here and I'm looking at students in this classroom, I look in their eyes, I look in their smiles. I can be in Germany, I can be in Austria, I can be in Trinidad, Norway, anywhere in the world, you are exactly the same. It's so amazing to me. Doesn't matter the dress, doesn't matter the culture, doesn't matter the language, you are exactly the same. And it's really, really sad. It's only as we grow up and as you grow up, outside influences pitch you against each other, telling you this one is bad and that one is bad. I believe if you took 20 kids from 20 countries, age 8 to 10, put them in a room, speaking different language, different culture, they would get along fine. They are exactly the same. It's, and we are. And I, sometimes I'm looking at students and I think, I just saw that student. You look so much alike to me. Yeah. That is a beautiful point of view. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, a lot of adults, like not adults in general, just like a lot of people, they feel like a lot of people are different because of external factors, but the fact that you're able to see inside people yeah. and understand their similarities. Not yeah. similar, exactly yeah. the same, I'm telling you. Exactly it's more than similar. It's exactly, it's amazing to me. If I wouldn't experience it, I wouldn't understand it, but I've experienced it. Yeah. Uh, any message you would like to give to our yeah. students? So my message is always the same, you know, always to the students. Those three things. Do your best, enjoy what you do, believe in yourself. Especially learn to believe in yourself. So few people have it. Everybody complains. Everybody talks about stress and pressure. All mm -hmm. stress and pressure is self-induced from lack of confidence. If you have that confidence in yourself, you never have stress. You just think you can do it. And you do. And it's so much easier. So that's my message all of the time. You know, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't get paid to do this. I don't charge the schools any money. I spend my own money to do this just for the opportunity to let you know you have a choice in your life. Wow. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> and honestly. I'll tell you something. Else. I get more than I give. People think, oh, you're giving so much, you're giving so much. But me sitting here with you right now, I really get something from you, something positive. It makes me feel so good. I can't explain it. I can't write it down, but I feel it. And so I always say, you know, it's equal. Whatever you think you're getting from me, I'm getting from you. But with you, you're getting it once. I'm getting it a hundred times. So sometimes I'm kind of selfish. <laughs> wow. Quite good. Yeah, well, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So it's been a pleasure. Yeah, Thank you for the interview. So uh, I always enjoy doing these things. And yeah. a lot of times people say, I'm going to give you the questions ahead of time. I don't need the questions. Let's just yeah, wing it. It's much more fun yeah. when you're doing it. Yeah, just wing it. But some of the things you have to think about when you're doing this, you're going to ask me a question. I have to understand the question, evaluate it, formulate an answer within a split second, and sound like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's not that easy, but it's fun. And even if I mess it up, you know, it's, it's so only talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's I always say the earth is going to spin, sun is still coming up. What I'm doing is just not that important. Well, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I understand that side yeah. of it. But I mean, realistically, as far as, yeah. you know, it's not going to stop the Earth from spinning. We're as small as the salt yeah. in the universe. Yeah. But for me, it's so important yeah. to try to connect with all of the students 
And many, many of you, you know, will take this advice and hopefully uh, alter your lives in a way that will make it, more, you know, better for you. Yeah, I think yeah. it will. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome.